Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Uh, great to have you back on The Real Story, Senator. So what do you make of Chris Christie's comments? Are you guys going to actually get anything done? Well, you know, I'm here in Washington because I have an obligation to the taxpayers in Kentucky, so I will be here to vote this afternoon. We'll have a vote at 530, and I'm trying very hard not to have any kind of campaign activities take away from my voting. One of the interesting things about the Kentucky controversy that hasn't been discussed enough, in 2013, we passed a Religious Freedom Restoration Act, and it does allow for elected officials to opt out of things that they have a moral or religious objection to. And I don't think this has been tested yet. In the federal court, they did not look at our Kentucky law. The Kentucky law specifically is designed if there was an accommodation, such as taking her name or uh, her office off of the marriage certificate. I think that's all she's ever asked for. She said she was willing to file the contract, but she did not want to give her signature or her right. premature or her approval to the contract. Okay, so what you're saying is that if it was a state issue, then it would be handled different, but because it's federal, it's not. Well, no, I don't think that's exactly it. I think it has not been addressed yet under the Religious Freedom Act, and I do believe that the Religious Freedom Act of 2013 probably does specifically protect her. The judge didn't rule on our Religious Freedom Act, and so I think we do need to have, and probably will if she persists, have an important test to our Religious Freedom Act to see whether or not it will be upheld. And I think it will be upheld as long as she's willing to provide an accommodation, which means she would file the contracts just without her name on them. Okay, so you have been in support of Kim Davis? Yeah, I think it's a mistake by the judge to put her in jail. I think if you want to convince people of some kind of new definition of marriage, I think persuasion is a better way to go about it. I think putting people in jail is an, is an absurd uh, response or punishment for this, and I think the judge made a mistake. Okay, but does she hurt the case for religious freedom? You know that she has her critics, obviously. Well, no, I think that ultimately this needs to be decided on whether or not uh, people who disagree with the new definition of marriage have to sign and put their imprimatur, their signature saying they approve of this or they sanctify this. And this is a big deal for this woman, and I think she should be defended. And there's no reason why consenting adults can't have contracts. Why can't they get it notarized? Why does it have to come? Maybe it takes a change of the law, but I think the actual Kentucky law actually supports her at this point because there is a religious freedom exemption in the law. Okay, so what do you say, Senator, to the people who say, look, she uh, ran for this office, uh, she knew that she was going to be working for the government, and this is the law of the land now, she should just abide by that law? Well, we have exemptions for all kinds of different religions and different races and different uh, people who feel like the government law has gone against what their personal beliefs and religion are, and it's called the Religious Freedom Act. So the law actually does protect her, and I don't think it's been tested yet. Okay. Uh, Senator Rand Paul, who decided to stay in D.C., uh, session is, Congress is back in session there, and he wants to get business done there. Senator, thank you. Thank you. Let's move